Okay, so here we're gonna have a look at how we add two different textures to our drawing here. So we're gonna add one texture to the background behind this line drawing. And essentially we've kept our lines on their own layer. So there's transparency in between the lines. So you can see if we add a texture in the background here, we see all those lines over the top of the texture. What we're gonna look at here is how we color in with a texture, the actual building itself. And we're gonna be using this texture for the, the building. Okay, so essentially what we want to do is create some way of managing the transparency of this layer for the layer below. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new layer and we're going to call it texture fill transparency. And what we're going to use is the ability to create a clipping mask on the layer above to borrow the transparency from the layer below. So in this layer, essentially we can paint any color within the space of our building here. And then we can use that transparency, the fact that background of this building won't be painted in to actually show that, that texture, okay? So here's how this works. So we're gonna grab the brush tool. We're gonna go down to the bottom left here to our colors and flip this to white. And on our new texture fill transparency layer here, just below the lines layer, we're gonna grab a nice size brush, okay? And we're just gonna start to paint in and we're making sure our opacity is 100%. And now if we start to fill in this shape, I'm not too worried if I go over the edges here, I can always grab the eraser tool um, to erase something and because I'm on a separate layer, I'm not gonna erase the line. So that's one advantage of keeping things as separate layers. So I'm just gonna zoom in here. I'll grab the eraser tool to tidy up these edges. Now you may want to, in some cases, kind of flow over the edges. It can give a, a nice feel to your piece if you do that, okay? So it's not completely perfect. And we'll just begin to brush in. Now, the way I normally do this is by working around the edge of a drawing, and then I will fill it in later on. So we're gonna come all the way around here, okay? And what this means is that I can use a small brush to get that detail around the edge. And as I move into the center, I can then grab a nice big brush and fill everything up. So go carefully around the edge. And then once you've done that, you can grab a nice big brush and fill in the rest. Okay, so we're gonna go around this quickly and fill this in. The video will speed up a little now, and then we'll come back and look at how we use this layer of white, this layer of white, to create transparency on the layer below. Okay, so now we have our building colored in white. We have a completely white layer that we can use um, to create the transparency using this orange layer. Okay, so if we grab this orange layer, we'll pull it up and turn it on, and then we're gonna right click on that layer and go to create clipping mask, okay? When you're right clicking, just make sure that you right click in this blue area here. Otherwise, you'll get some different options that you don't need. So you can see now we've created a, a layer that manages the transparency and it overlays nicely over the top of the, the layer below. Now, one thing that we, we could do is just try and distinguish between the background here and the ground underneath our hall here. So I'm gonna actually add a new hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm gonna drop the, the brightness of this and drop the saturation a little, and then just use the colorize option to change the color of that layer below. So I'm gonna make it a nice earthy red brown. So it's the same pattern with a different color overlaid over the top of it. I'm just gonna use the layer mask here on the hue saturation layer to actually manage that color. So if I grab the brush tool now and paint in black on the top of this layer, you can see I reveal that green that was there beforehand. So I can have a nice green in the background with the same pattern and then that red below, okay? The nice setup for this, for the hue saturation adjustment layer is that we can then go in and we can change that color in the bottom there. We can change the brightness so we can manage it and get it just how we want it so that it matches our drawing. So this is a quick example of how to use different layers in your drawings, how to manage the color within those layers. And we can obviously add more layers and mask in different shapes for areas like the doors, the windows, and that kind of stuff but this should give you a, a good introduction into how to begin to work with this kind of technique.